Appliances that are working correctly present a balanced load to the mains. That is, the current on the active and the neutral are the same. The job of the duo in RCD mode is to pretend to be a faulty appliance and provide an unbalanced load, which of course will trip out any RCD protection on the building's main switchboard. To prevent this, we need an isolation transformer. The RCD we need to test is a residual current device safety switch, but it's also an extension lead. So, assuming we've already tested it as an extension lead, we now need to test it as a safety switch. So plug it into the isolation transformer and plug the duo into the RCD. Switch on the power and if necessary, reset the RCD. The RCD has a self-test mode. So press the self-test button and everything should go off. So far, so good. Reset the power and it's now time for the duo to put that unbalanced load on and check the switch times. Press the start button and a 15 milliamp load is applied for a third of a second. If it fails to trip, but to pass. So the duo then applies the 30 milliamp load and measures the time taken to trip. It should be under 300 milliseconds. In this case, it's 24, that's a pass. Reset the RCD and perform the test again. Now, while there's no legal requirement to reverse the phase angle, it's industry best practice to do so. And the Easy Test Duo knows to change the phase every time you press that button. So we tested at 0 degrees and 180 degrees. You'll need to record both results just to keep it ordered happy. In the event that in either case the trip time exceeds 300 milliseconds, it'll simply show as a fail. Test completed. It really is that easy. Switch it off, unplug the lead and tag it. We've finished.